In this tutorial, we are going to take advantage of this amazing command called shell. But before we get right into 3D modeling, let's open up first a new drawing by clicking this drop down arrow. Select new, select Akadisa 3D for metric, open. I'm just going to go to view and select tile vertically. I'm going to choose um, parallel and then top view. To work in a 3D modeling workspace, go down to the status bar and click this drop down arrow and select 3D modeling. And make sure your dynamic input is on, polar tracking, object snap tracking, and object snap. Start working with polyline. Click anywhere on the screen and enter 972 as shown here. Bring up your cursor for 472. I'm just going to track. And close. Go back to the ribbon and select fillet and go down to the command window and click the radius option and enter 100 as given here. And select multiple. Now the offset distance from this point to this point is 12. So I'm gonna type in O for offset command and enter 12. And the next offset distance is nine. So type O again, enter and enter nine. Now we're going to draw this object and the distance from this object from this line or this object is uh, 75 units. So type L for line and just hover over from the midpoint and move your cursor to the right for 75 units. And since the distance from here to here is 400, we're just going to do 200 upward. And to the right for 350. Bring down your cursor for 400. And move it to the left for 350 or just track. Now I'm going to join the broken segments by typing in uh, J for join command and just click the lines. Now we have to do fillet again for 100 units. So go back to the ribbon and click fillet. Go down to the command window and select radius uh, option and just enter the 100 units is already given and press enter and click multiple next we're going to draw this object and the distance from this point or this point here to this point is 50 
So type in L for line command and just hover over from the midpoint and move your crosshair to the right for 50 units. And bring up your cursor for which is half for 200 is 100. So type in 100 and enter. And move to the right for the radius is 60. So that makes the diameter for 120. So type 120. And bring it down for 200. And to the left, just track. And close. Now type C for the shortcut for a circle and enter and click the midpoint and click the endpoint right click to repeat circle midpoint to endpoint and type tr for trim command enter twice remove that remove that highlight these lines and press delete Now I'm going to join the segments, so type J, same process, enter, and select the broken segments. The distance from this point to this point is 25, which is the offset, and I believe this one and this one too is the same, the first offset here. So type uh, O again for offset command and enter 25. Now let's do trimming. So TR for trim command, enter twice. And I'm just going to remove that. Remove this one. Right click, enter. I'm just going to delete this portion. And trim again twice. Enter twice, I mean. Remove that. And remove this one. and delete that now let's continue adding this line here this uh, portion okay type l for line and click the midpoint of the arc and bring it somewhere here and uh, the distance of this line here from this point is 39 units so what I'm going to do is um, type L again for line command and just hover over, don't click. And uh, from the midpoint, move your cursor to the left for 39 units. And as you know, this line is going to intersect the other line. So just bring it up. And type EX for extend command. Enter twice and click that. I'm just going to extend this one too. EX for extend command. Enter twice. Type L for line. And same process. Bring it there. Now we're going to do trimming again. Type TR for trim command. Enter twice. I'm just going to remove that. Remove that. Same here. And um, same here. I'm going to delete this one. Now this line is in line with the center of this arc. So I'm going to draw a line. Enter. From this um, point to that point. And same process here. Now I'm going to do another trimming. TR for trim, enter twice and um, remove this one 
we want this, this one, and delete that. Okay, and the radius here is 49 for this arc. So I'm going to go back to the ribbon and click fillet. Uh, go down to the command window and click the radius option and enter 49. And select multiple. Now we're going to smoothen the edges here for this one. But first we have to do the circle. So type C for circle, enter, and select this uh, point here. Uh, as you can see, we have this uh, symbol here that shows that it's the center of the object because we turn on the object snap for 3D. So we just click that, enter 35 for radius. And the distance from, oh, from the center of this circle from this point is 100. So I'm gonna type C again and just um, hover over from the midpoint and enter 100 and um, enter 35. Okay, and now uh, we have to smoothen the edges here. So I figure out we have to do a circle and from the ribbon click this drop down arrow and select and select tangent 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 options and tangent here tangent here tangent here and that creates the circle and now I'm just gonna do trimming TR for trim enter twice I'm just gonna remove that remove this one remove that the next step is to extrude this one for the basin which is this one here so I'm gonna bring this to southwest uh, view Highlight this one, extrude it down for 170, and this one for 140. And since I'm gonna do um, shell later, I have to extrude this one for over 170 and to be safe, I'm just gonna do uh, 400. I'm gonna bring this to conceptual view. Extrude this portion here I cannot see it very well. I'm gonna change the color I'm gonna change this to Maybe darker color There you go All right Select extrude from the ribbon Highlight this one, or oh, not extrude, but um, press pull command. Select that and bring it up for nine units. Type in nine, enter. And the next one would be five units. So extrude it by we're not going to use extrude command, we're going to select press pull 
and select that once it's highlighted bring it up for five units and these ones here are extruded for three millimeters I'm gonna change this to to the wireframe it's easier to select and uh, go back to the ribbon and choose extrude command highlight these objects and bring it up for three millimeters or three units I'm just gonna change the visual style to conceptual now I'm gonna select union command to combine all the objects select union command click that and then select that right click and enter now I'm gonna subtract these two for the basin and go back to the solid editing panel and select subtract command this one here and click the object you want to keep right click select the objects the objects you want to remove there you go now we're gonna do fillet edge for 3d we're not gonna use this one this is for 2d we're gonna do solid and select fillet edge and click radius from the command window for the option and uh, the fillet here is 40 so type in uh, 40 enter and select chain for option and click this one enter twice and the bottom one the bottom fillet which is this one here I'm gonna show you this one is 20 so select fillet edge again click radius enter 20 enter and select chain and select the bottom edge now let's do another fillet but first I'm gonna move this object when I do that with um, tiny fillets because um, these uh, lines could interfere I'm gonna change this to 2D wireframe and change the color so lighter one it's easier to see now let's do another fillet but first I'm gonna move this object when I do that with um, tiny fillets because um, these uh, lines could interfere I'm gonna change this to 2D wireframe and change the color to a lighter one it's easier to see just gonna adjust this ones now uh, go to solid select fillet edge select radius enter 3 and select chain just gonna select this top part right click enter right click and enter again to accept fillet edge again select uh, the radius now is 3 accept and select chain just gonna click that one right click enter right click to accept 
Now same process, radius, except three, select chain, and select this top part here. And this one, right click, enter, right click again, enter to accept. Select fillet edge again, radius, accept, select chain option, and I'm gonna select the lower portion here to fillet. And this side here, right click, enter, right click again to accept. Let me check with realistic. Looks good. Now let's do a uh, fillet for these edges. Fillet, radius, accept, and select chain. Select this one. Select that one. Select this one. Right click, enter, enter again to accept. Okay, fillet edge, radius, accept three, select chain. Select that. Now that looks better. Now let's do a fillet for this edge, which is um, eight millimeter. Click radius option and enter 8 and select chain. Select this edge. Right click, enter. Right click again and enter to accept. Right click to repeat fillet edge. Click radius option from the command window and select 7 and select chain and select this edge. Enter. Next is to do shell command. So go back to the ribbon and go to the solid editing panel and click this drop down arrow and select shell. Click the object and uh, go back to the command window and click this add option and click remove and select the faces that you want to be removed. Also the bottom, oh, it's click already. I don't want to miss anything. All right, enter and enter 2.5, which is the thickness of the object. And enter again. I'm going to change this to 2D wireframe because I think I forgot to carry the holes. So I'm going to change this view to top view. I'm going to move this one. Uh, shift right click and select between two points, mid between two points. So click that click that midpoint and um, I'm gonna check the distance between these two circles so di 
it's 210 so I'm gonna copy this one and insert 210 and for this uh, circle or hole for the sink it's um, 20 diameter so I'm just gonna check the distance from this midpoint to the center it's 32 so I'm gonna do circle again C for circle enter and just hover over from this midpoint and enter 32 and type D for diameter option and enter 20 all right so I'm gonna extrude this two I'm gonna extrude this one I'm gonna move that a bit just to make sure it's intersecting the object so when I uh, do subtract no okay subtract command from the ribbon right click and select the object you want to remove there you go check to realistic and I think the fillet here is uh, one so go back to the ribbon go to solid and select fillet edge enter three enter select chain and select this edge and that edge right click enter right click and enter again to accept fillet edge again select radius enter one select chain and enter the edge of this all right apply materials so type materials Go to visualize, change the exposure, I'm going to use uh, gradient. Click OK. I think we're done. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, or like if you like what I did. And click the link of my website or to my website. For detailed dimensions thank you for watching see you again bye bye